What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day. On this channel, I talk about cyber security, cloud security, and other life stuff. And today's video, I will be going over a book I recently read. But before that, as you guys know, one of my goals this year is to read at least a book a month. We're currently in April, um, I was able to achieve that in, in January. In February, I was able to read like five books. In March, I failed on that. Um, I was reading a book, uh, specifically Ultra Learning, but I never finished it in March, but I did finish it in April and I, was, I finished this book as well. So I kind of, you know, compensated for that by reading two books in April. So that was definitely a good experience. But this video is going to be about this book, which is so good they can't ignore you. I'm going to be reviewing this book and just telling you my experience with it and um, my recommendations for this book. I think it's a really great book. So with that said, let's just dive right into the video. All right, so before I get into this book, I think this is a really great book uh, for anyone who is you know career oriented i would like to consider myself a little bit career oriented um, this book was written by carl newport uh, i've read other books by carl newport precisely deep work as well as digital minimalism and i've done videos of that on my channel so you can definitely check those out i'll leave um, cards to them somewhere on the screen up here um, but carl newport is a great writer um he has a really i think he's he's really strongly opinionated but i think his opinions are based on facts which is good so if your opinions are based on fact then you know they're at least they have some good base if your opinions are just based on like anything then you know that's when there's a problem so that's one good thing about uh Kanye Port. Yeah, he speaks really confidently at least from the book like you can definitely hear the confidence in what he believes and uh how uh he designs like all of these thoughts about different things so rambling aside let's get into the book so the book is based on four rules right and the first rule is about not following your passion the second one is about being so good they can't ignore you the third one is about the importance of control which is turning down a promotion and the fourth rule is about thinking small and acting big so basically the whole premise of, of this is uh building off of something called newport calls career capital which is essentially building um very strong skills and uh being a craftsman so being really good at what you do and using that as capital to leverage for control in your career for example let's say you're cyber security and a way of you building career capital would be you know studying uh building skills you know getting certifications uh creating content that is valuable to the community uh maybe working a a entry-level job where you're learning a lot of skills and using that as a leverage to uh, get a better job or, you know, get whatever kind of career you want. So it's leveraging building skills, experiences that are going to help you in future opportunities. He, he kind of goes over how um, that career capital, which I think is a really, really nice way of putting um, leveraging your skills and, you know, what you're able to do to gain control of your career. And then when you have uh, career capital, you can use that as leverage. And in terms of leverage for control over your career, it's kind of important for you to time that control over your career because if you try to control your career way too early or without enough capital, it could be this, uh, it could be catastrophic. He gives example of people in the book where they try to leverage some career capital in something, right? They learned a new skill and they're like, okay, I think I want to control my career based off this skill, but they didn't have enough capital on that to leverage that, and they ended up, you know, probably um, not being successful at that. So. Uh, he also gives examples of people who probably leverage career capital for control in the sense that they build enough experience, enough skills from different, from a wide range of opportunities, you know, from working at entry level positions, working at startups, stuff like that, places where they knew they were going to be able to gain skills and experiences and also maybe like education, certifications, doing things to help them build that career capital and then leveraging that for more control at the right time because they had enough career capital and then at, th at the time when they were trying to leverage that career capital for more control over their career, it was enough for them to do that. What I just said is just like an oversimplification of everything in the book, but I think that's kind of the whole premise of the book. And in terms of the title, where it says, uh, so good they can't ignore you, one of the actual um, you know rules is be so good they can't ignore you. So like build your skills to the extent where you actually have enough to leverage. And I think that's something I apply a lot. You know, I try to be as good as I, I can be in what I do, um, you know, in terms of cybersecurity, I try to uh, learn new skills, um, stay up to date on things that are currently in, in use in, in, in the cybersecurity world. And I think that should be applicable for anyone who is in their career right now. In terms of career capital, you know, leverage that internship, le leverage that help desk job, leverage that sysadmin 
in position, leverage that uh, entry level stock analyst position, and use that as um, as career capital, and use that to build for more control over your career. So you can use that to get better positions where you can have more control over your work, your time, and in general a better career. I think for me, I I didn't read this book before I did that, so I think in a way I definitely uh, apply the principles of this book by first of all starting from my internship, you know, in that period getting certifications, training, continuously learning, building skills, and then using that as leverage for more advanced positions you know then going to become a suck analyst and then being a threat analyst and now being a cloud threat detection engineer at where i work at so i think just applying these principles and you know being really really conscious about how you plan your career is going to really really help you and i recommended this book for anyone who like i said is career oriented and uh is really interested in all of that stuff so really great book i think i, I kind of like cal newport this is the third book by cal newport i'm reading so definitely um you know uh, a fan so yeah that's it for this video uh, like i said if you guys like these videos where i kind of go over the books i'm reading um just let me know and um yeah i'll, I'll continue to do more of them and um yeah that's it for this video the next video is going to be about this book ultra learning this is if there's any book anyone should read it should be ultra learning but um yeah we'll talk about that in the next video so thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please be sure to smash the like button subscribe all of that fun stuff comment down below i want to know you guys thoughts and yeah i'll see you in the next video Bye bye